So we're going to take a look at, at we're going to isolate blocks and your checking hand uh, because a lot of times people are getting confused and tangled up when they're trying to check the attack. Um, and it's not so much that they're ending up in the wrong place, it's because they kind of started in the wrong place with their hand. So we want to keep this as natural as possible. And as I go through this, don't pay attention necessarily, well do pay attention to the block, but also look at where my hand is when I move my body. So my hand is always going to be in close as I'm shifting, uh, and so it's not wandering around unattached to the, to the structure as a whole. All right, so now imagine, we're going to do this with an imaginary person, so you have to kind of play along, that I've got a, a big number one attack, a big right-handed attack swinging at my head, okay? So I'm going to start off, and this is the important part, starting off, elbows in, stick is in nice and close, which is also chambered. Um, and so now and my hand is up, uh, guarding my center. So when that attack comes in, I'm going to shift my shoulders and hips sideways like this and kind of punch my arm out. The stick swings through. My hand comes directly from my chest, uh, out to their po the opponent's hand, just like that. One more time. I'm here. I've got a forward lean. I'm ready to move. Uh, I shift and come out with it. Notice my hand is not wandering through space. It's a straight line out from where I was. One more time this way. Shift and hit through. Okay? If I turn this way, from here, now imagine that attack's coming around this way. I shift and I hit through. I've squared up my shoulders and hips towards that attack. So if he's swinging a ball bat, and not a light little stick, I can actually have a chance of stopping this. This hand comes directly out from the chest and impacts their arm. Okay? Very good. Now we're going to keep going. We're going on to the number four attack. Now imagine I'm standing right here, and that four is a low line attack towards my leg. All right? And you, you will usually have this foot forward when you do that, just because you've attacked with the number one yourself. So when that attack is coming from here with my hand, uh, my stick there, my hand here, all I do is step back and drop my stick. See what I did? Uh, I've, I've hit out, and I step back and drop my stick. My arm is not swinging around. It's going from here to there. Because remember, one of our basic principles are with fingers up above the elbow, fingers down below the elbow. It's the exact same move. Okay? So I've hit, and I step back and defend. If they're just swinging at my leg without me attacking, I step back and defend. Does that make sense? I'll turn this way just a little bit. So imagine it's coming here. Uh, I'm there. Start with this leg forward. I step back and defend. If I step forward to hit, and then they blocked it, and I step back. Okay? There you go. One and a four. Tip up.